Welcome back. This is my roommate and best friend, Noelia Ramirez. <laughs> Drew, make me look good. So it is Sunday night and the Oscars are tonight. We have really exciting plans. We're gonna go to a cool little shindig with some friends. Little do you know, they <laughs> fucked us over. If you're watching this case on, fuck you. <laughs> he ditched us so, and I'm pissed. So, Noelia has this game. Talk, flirt, dare. <laughs> I bought it for my boyfriend and I. So yeah, it's a couples game, but we're basically a couple. So we're just gonna get into it, I guess. All right, so there's flirt, talk, and dare. Which one do you wanna do first? Talk, we'll start easy. Okay. Who do you think your partner, me, looks up to? It can be a parent, friend, celebrity, or a figure in history. I mean, I'm sure there's no like perfect answer. I'm sure there's not like one person, right? Like, do you have someone in mind right now? No. But if you can guess someone that like I can say yes to, I would probably say you look up to your dad. Or, like you admire your dad. Yeah, he would be the answer for that. I guess. Yeah, I don't know who else to say. Aww, you're making me seem a lot nicer than I actually am. I was like fucking no one. Like I look up to myself. <laughs> so, what do you think makes me different from other people? <laughs> from other people because you're just very straight up and real and you tell it how it is and you don't care who it is or what the fuck is up and you'll i think you're right thank you what do you think your partner would do with an extra thousand dollars a week to spend on their needs <laughs> no boo no boo no <laughs> what do you think your partner would choose a year-long trip around the world or a new yacht of equivalent value I think you would definitely choose a trip. Yeah, which is right? Over a yacht. I mean, just like, where's my yacht going? Yeah, where is it going? It's gonna take be? a long ass time to get anywhere. Yeah. Yachts are cool though. Yachts are awesome. Yachts are awesome. Yachts are the best. <laughs> <laughs> which one of your partner's friends do you think is the coolest and most fun? Yeah. Who do you think is the coolest and most fun of all my friends? Wait, I just answered about you, the yacht question. Oh. <laughs> You're so stupid. So <laughs> So I am the answer for you? I to answer. Uh, I hate that. I don't have that many options. Isaac. Yes. Isaac. I have a lot of fun with Isaac. So I'll like Okay, we're on to the flirt pack. Oh, wait, the flirt might be getting to know each other randomly. Because it's like you're flirting with someone. I don't know. Yeah. Ready? What situation made you realize that you and your partner are a good match? Okay, moving in together. <laughs> that we're good for marriage. Oh. We're good for life. What is your favorite thing <laughs> that your partner does in bed? Sleep. vacation and stuff, oh. you don't stop talking. Really? Yeah, and I'm like, Noelia, please shut the fuck up. Like, I'm trying. Are you sure that's not Taylor? No, it's you. Maybe this is like in the olden Was days. Was this like one situation? <laughs> Maybe. Have you ever bragged about your partner to your friends? What exactly do you say? They say, Kelsey's so awesome. Aww. She's so funny. She rocks. I rock. What turns you on almost instantly? I guess you could answer that about yourself. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be about us. Um, money, money, money. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What turns me on? And like what, like what, like attracts me to someone? Or like what turns me on like in a sexual I think sense? that means like attract. What like does a guy do that just like, I like him? Nothing. I'm not impressed easily. Nothing really like turns me on like that. Like there's nothing specifically that I'm like, oh yeah, like that's fire. Like every single thing gives me the ick. How often do you play with yourself and what do you think about or watch? <laughs> I'm gonna be <laughs> not very often. And I probably, I probably, I don't watch anything. I just think about my boyfriend. Aww. Sweet. To make up a pet name for your partner's private party. <laughs> Asthma pump. Little pussy. Oh, pussy. <laughs> Love that. 
What place in the house would you like to have sex in other? <laughs> Your bedroom. Um, <clears throat> not with you, but. <laughs> You're like you're in the balcony of the house. <laughs> so it's like the glam room. <laughs> the glam room with all those lights yeah. and all those mirrors uh, everywhere. Ooh, no. <laughs> no. Uh, probably the kitchen, which I don't think I've ever done, like in any house. I mean, if I had to choose, but I really am a like a bedroom kind of girl. What sexual position would you love to try one day? Missionary. Really answer for real? I'm a virgin. Anal. Anal. Comment down below if you've done anal. Describe how you would like your partner to seduce you one day. Ew. First, I would love for her to learn how to drive and be like, get in the oh, car. Oh no, there's mine on my face. It's all over your face. I would love for her to be like, get up, Molly, get ready. Aww. We're going to get brunch at Wally's. And then we're going to go have lunch at Nova Malibu. And then we're going to go have dinner. Basically, I just want her to take me um, to nice restaurants all day and pay for it. What would be your partner's porn star name? It would be Crazy Karen. <laughs> Are you dead ass right now? <laughs> I didn't imagine you just called me a Karen? <laughs> Why are you like so it would offended be, by that? It would be Tight Tina. <laughs> to you when making love so is it is it hearing is it seeing is it smelling is it touching what's the last one seeing hearing touching smelling what is the last good sense i don't know talking sight sound smell taste Ooh, that's a crazy one taste. i don't like tasting much <laughs> <laughs> someone's not a giver <laughs> If you had to choose, would you rather dominate or submit? Sub, 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 sub. How can your partner demonstrate their devotion to you sexually <laughs> by never touching me? <laughs> in your opinion, what does it mean to be good in bed? In my opinion, it means that you care about the person you're having sex with and not only about how you feel, you know? That's nice. Like, you don't just care about your nut, you care about her nut. It's very selfless. Yeah, be selfless. What is your favorite time of the day to make love? Me, this is so awesome. Um, my favorite time of the day to make love is nighttime. What personality trait of your partner do you find the sexy? <laughs> so, personality trait, sign. I was about to be like, some big old titties. Um, I have much of a personality. <laughs> I like that you're very independent. Mm, that was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> My turn? Your turn? What public place would you like to have sex in one day? I want to have sex in... I can't really think of anywhere. I just stay home, guys. I can't yeah. eat at home. You don't need to have sex in the mall. You don't. The White House? No. Forever 21 can wait. But <laughs> what little thing that your partner does shows you that they care about you. Kelsey. Kelsey, like, always invites me to join her plans every single day. Aww. What is your favorite love making position? Dude, I like remember my um when was the last time you touched yourself? <laughs> we did not know this was gonna be the sexual before we started this video and now this is all about sex. Very, very extra. I thought this was flirting nice alcohol. This is how you flirt and talk all about sex. Dude, I'm gonna play this game with a man 
I love really this cool game. Book. If you could act out a sexy love making scene from a movie, which scene would it be? Something so embarrassing that I did when I lost my virginity. What? What'd you say? <laughs> when I lost my virginity. When I had to watch. It's, I've never told anyone this. It's so embarrassing. No, what is it? <clears throat> I had, like, I've watched the movie Eight Mile, okay? <laughs> There's a scene where Brittany Murphy and I'm gonna have sex. And Brittany Murphy. I can't talk about it, I'm gonna start crying, I'm gonna break down. <laughs> you have to! Brittany Murphy licks her hand, like, top to bottom. Now, when yeah. I'm older, I know that she licked it. I mean, you normally, like, will spit or something, like, and yeah. then you, you, but uh -huh. it's a movie, so it's, like, super dramatic. She just, like, licks it and then, like, puts her hand down there. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so I watched the movie and I thought the little trick she did was pretty cool. And I did it when I lost my virginity. I didn't know what I meant. I think it turned the guy on just because, like, licking. But it, thinking back on it, like, that's crazy and it's not even gonna do anything. Stupid move, embarrassing. I cringe all the time when I think about it. I mean, it's more of like a seduction type situation, you know? It's like, yeah, but it was so intense. My tongue purple. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my mouth. I can already. Yeah. I mean, that's cool that you did that losing your virginity. Yeah, I was like, how old are you? You young as fuck? 14. Yeah, 14 year old you has got it going on. I shouldn't be embarrassed because the guy was a little <laughs> bit older than me and he was a little bit more experienced and he came in, my after I did this, he came in three pumps. <laughs> what do you remember about the first time you and your partner ever made love? Um, Just say it from personal experience because come on, sweet or not. Me and what partner though? Like my virginity? You could do virginity unless it's like, you don't like that story and it's triggering or you could do- It's not triggering, it's just like gross and embarrassing. What do you remember from it? Let's say I was hungover. I was hungover. It was in the morning. Me and this guy have like never had sex before, whatever. Obviously it's my virginity. <laughs> never had sex with anyone. <laughs> Sorry, I'm drunk. Um, we wake up, I'm like half asleep, I'm hungover, I'm on my period, okay? I'm literally on my fucking period. Crazy. Crazy way to start this out. Yeah, and then he just, um, yeah. If you could go back in time and relive a special moment that you and your partner shared together, what would it be? You could answer like about me or you could answer about a boyfriend. Aww. Should I reminisce my last relationship? My last relationship on our six month anniversary. He got a private Italian chef to come cook us dinner in his backyard and it was very romantic and very cute. That was do you remember the first compliment you ever gave no, me? No, of course not. How would I remember that? <gasps> Randomly, I tell you this all the time, I love your eye shape. Oh yeah. Probably wasn't like the first nice thing you said to me, but yeah, that is But I love always... your eye shape, I always tell her I love her eye shape. Okay. Guys, I'm like I'm in love with you. Tell your partner a secret about something that you do in private that he or she doesn't know. I feel like anytime I'm in my room, I'm just like watching TikToks, watching TV. There has to be something that I do. I don't do anything since it's really weird. Ever since we lived together, like I'm pretty chill. Like I don't do anything like under wraps. What? When I lived with my, I don't know. I don't know. When I lived with my mom when I was younger, like I would always dance in the mirror. Like, Aww. I don't, yeah, I don't really do that anymore. When I lived with my dad, I danced all the time in my room. I would like pretend that I was like in my own concert, like singing. Yeah, yeah not not sure. Maybe it's just like when you're younger though. Yeah. That's it, I think. I don't think yeah. I have anything else. But yeah, I don't do that here. What song turns you on? Which is there soon. Put you should come with asthma pump. <laughs> asthma pump by Tay <laughs> uh, What is your favorite place to be touched? My clit. <laughs> it's just straightforward. Yeah. What kind of underwear would you like to see your, on your partner? Granny panties. Exactly. Do you remember the first kiss you and your partner shared? When was it and how did it happen? About us. Do you know what I'm gonna say? No. There's a photo. We kissed. <gasps> Wait, what? At EDC. Is that, <gasps> yes! <gasps> Is that the first and only time we've ever kissed? The first and only time, I'm pretty sure. There's a photo of us. I think yeah. Zed was performing, and there's a photo of me and Noelia kissing in front of the stage, and then there's also a photo of like Sauce and Zane kissing, and then. Todd and Olivia. Really? We all did it? Yes. Um, the photo is actually super cool because there's like, it, cool. we, we just look so like, like too young. And we're like, colorful like yeah, rainbow yeah, yeah. sweater. And there's like lights going everywhere. Mm -hmm. And 
It's really funny. It's, really funny. it's on my Instagram if you can find it. Okay, I mean, I guess we're out of wine. We're out of time. We're out of questions. I'm randomly. Okay, guys. <laughs> That's it. We finished our flirt questions. I'm sorry if this was too crazy for your liking. I didn't expect this to be like this, but it is what it is. And also, this was the game. If anyone wants to buy this, yeah, I this recommend you do buy it. <laughs> I recommend you buy it if you play it with an actual like significant other or someone that you're interested in, because that would be fun. It was so fun with my babe. No worries. You know, it would be more fun with someone that you actually are dating. Yeah, this would be a really fun game to play with someone that you're talking to or dating. But yeah, now we're drunk and I wish we could go out, but no one likes us and we have no plans and we have nothing to do because everyone sucks. So we're gonna go to bed. But I'm honestly happy because I'm gonna wake up, I'm gonna work out and have a day ahead of me tomorrow. I'm drunk, I love you guys, thank you so much. Subscribe, like, comment down below, whatever you wanna fucking do. If you don't wanna do any of that, ah!